From Bluebell Hill in southern England come reports of a bizarre modern ghost. She appears at random on this road and leaves her victims shaking with terror. Ian Sharp was driving home one night when a girl appeared from nowhere. The lady ran in front of the car. I hit her on her left-hand side. As I hit her, she turned her head and she was looking at me. She went down under the front of the car. Now, she had shoulder-length hair rolled inwards, fair hair, a fringe with big eyes. She had a round face, she had a high-necked jumper thing on or something, and a light-coloured coat. I was terrified. I didn't know what to do. All I could think of was this lady under the car. I then had to look under the car. I bent down and looked under the car. And there was nothing there. Now, my brain is going. I don't know what to do. Ian managed to call the police, who raced to the scene. I was still shaking like a leaf. Looking for the body or the person who I had hit, we couldn't find anybody, and then it was then that the policeman told me we've got to put this down to another sighting of the ghost of Bluebell Hill, which I had never heard of before. The hauntings are thought to have begun after a fatal car crash on Bluebell Hill. Every year produces new witnesses. One is Chris Dawkins. The girl ran out and sort of semi-turned towards me as I hit her. She was wearing like a white or cream top, um, like jumper, pullover type thing. I just stopped and got out and ran about in a state of panic. I mean, I, th I thought I'd actually killed someone. And when you actually get out and find that there's no one there, um, you know, <laughs> you start getting very worried about it. 